Yes, welcome back to all to Lumnator 11 and to the last week of September. Time is seriously flying. It's like you start a new month, you blink, next thing is the end of the month. You know, time is really speeded up on earth and um, yeah, we're moving to greater things. So anyway, let's do an energy check-in as we start this new week. If you are new to the channel, a really warm welcome to you. We are going to see what messages are coming through today. We are doing an energy check-in with the Light Seer's Tarot. Um, and then we're also bringing in this beautiful new deck by Yasmin Boland, which is Monology Messages. Uh, for both Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines, for the journey, we'll bring in the Twin Flame Oracle and also some messages uh, from your Divine Masculine with the Love and Desire Outburst. So thank you, angels, checking in with the energy. What is happening with the Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines as we start this new week? What is going on with Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines? So starting with the Divine Masculines, thank you, angels. So we've got this card here, this one here. Um, this one here and also this one here. Okay. And yeah, so that's that for divine masculines, divine feminines. We've got this one here. We have this one here. We also have this one and also one more here. Okay. So that's for the divine feminines. And then, thank you, angels, with this new deck, the monology messages, quite new deck, quite a new deck. So, what messages are coming through for the divine masculines? What do we need to know? So, we've got this one, and this one, and this one. And then, for the divine feminines, thank you, angels, we have this one, the one underneath it, and also this one here. Okay. Right, and then thank you, angels, for the journey. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for the journey? What do we need to know for the journey? So we've got this one, this one, and also this one, and that one for the journey. Okay, and then divine masculine messages. What is the divine masculine wanting to say today? What are they wanting to say? So we've got these two here. This one here and also one here and that one. Okay, right. So let's see what's coming through today. So we'll start with the Divine Masculine. So the first card that we've got here for the Divine Masculine. So I'm just opening these up. So we've got the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups. You know, I feel that this is also a time where your Divine Masculine is Maybe working on healing things of to do with their childhood. You know, that's the message that I'm really getting here. They are sort of reflecting on their life right now, you know, and they are in a place where they are healing their childhood wounds. They're healing things that have happened with their parents. You know, they're healing things um, or even insecurities that started from when they were a child. So they're going through like inner child healing at this time. That's the message that I'm really getting here, you know, so that they can be able to release those things that they've been holding on to so they can be able to move forward in their life. These are things that are holding them back from moving forward to you, their divine feminine, because they are still they've been holding on to these things and they need to work through healing that. So I'm really getting the message that they are healing things to do with their childhood. And also, you know, they are working, seeing where you know, some of the things that they're facing today, you know, where they came from. So they are like diving deeper into themselves to work through those things. But this is also a message about the past coming back. You know, they may be thinking about things that happened in their childhood, sort of reminiscing as they work through things. But this is also a card of the past coming back. This is about your divine masculine coming back to you, their divine feminine. Because as they heal those things of the past, the things that have been holding them back, then they can then be able to move forward. So they are the past that is coming back, you know, and you know, seeing them with the dog as well there, that's about that loyalty that they have for you, their divine feminine. They are loyal to you, you know, cups are all about the love as well. They are loyal to you and they are the past that, that is coming back. So that's what you are being shown here. And then the next card that has come out for them is the two of cups. 
So this is about that loyalty that they have when it comes to this love with you. You know, this is about that love relationship coming back. They are the past that is going to come back to bring in this love relationship with you. So they have that love for you and they're working through things that they need to heal. They need to release things of the past so that they can move forward to that relationship with you. You know, so this is about the two of you, the love that is meant to be. And they are the past that is coming back to this love relationship. The next card that we've got for them, we've got the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is also the card about making decisions. You can see there's sort of like that thinking coming through the sort of the head there. So they are in this place of making decisions as well. Decisions to do with their own healing, you know, decisions to help them to move forward towards the life that they truly desire, which is that life with you. So they are in this place where they're reflecting on their life, working on themselves and also making decisions. These can be decisions to change things in their life decisions to release uh, certain habits, things that have been holding them back, karmic situation, so that they can move forward towards this love relationship with you. So they are making decisions that are there to lead them to you, their divine feminine, decisions to heal themselves, to heal their past, so that they can be free from the things that have been holding them back, so they can move forward towards this love with you. The last card that came out for them is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is about that positive eventual outcome. So you're being shown here that they are on their way. You know, they are the past that is coming back and they are coming forward towards you. You know, walking on that green grass, you know, there's green sort of everywhere around them. That's that um, energy of healing. So they're going through a healing. So, you know, they are on their way, but it will be a positive eventual outcome because they're still working through healing things of the past. They're still working and making decisions to help them change their life, but they are coming forward towards you. You know, it's, they're not on the horse. They're like walking and the horse is kind of, you know, on the side. So it's going to take longer. That's the message that's really coming through here. It's not going to take longer because they're still working through certain things they're still going through healing as they walk on the grass you know the green is all about healing walking on the grass barefoot that's about healing so they are still going through healing so there will be a positive eventual outcome of them coming back to that love relationship with you but the message you're being shown here is that they are on their way and it is going to happen because they are the past that is coming back so some powerful messages coming through here for the Divine Masculines and really powerful. The card that also came out for them is Moon Memories, the past. So this is the memories that they're having of healing the past, things that have happened in their childhood, things that have happened with their parents, you know, the things that brought in limiting beliefs when it comes to their life, you know, reflecting on how certain things that happened in their childhood led them to, you know, having the insecurities that they have, the things that they've been holding on to, you know, they are working on healing the past. So thank you, angels, for confirming this energy that I was getting here, that they're working on healing the past you know so that they can then be able to move forward towards this life with you they're also reminiscing as well of you know the past the times that you and, and them shared you know that's also about you know thinking you know being loyal to you their divine feminine thinking as well of the good times you know of the times that you shared and wanting to have the those good times again with you so they were they are going to be that past that comes back but they're also in this place right now where they are healing the past. The other card that has come out for them is the falling moon and it says release blocks. So that's what they are doing during this time of healing. You know, the healing that we're being shown with the green, they are releasing the blocks, the blocks that they've had when it comes to fear, insecurities, you know, things that have been holding them back from moving forward towards this love relationship that they desire with you. So they are releasing the blocks. So they're working through themselves. This is why, you know, through they're working through things right now and releasing the blocks, healing the past. This is why you're being shown, you know, they, they will be a positive eventual outcome. They are still on their way, but they're still going through healing, through releasing the blocks. So they will get to this love relationship with you in the right divine timing but right now they're kind of on their way and they're still working through these things so really powerful 
the last card that came out for them is moonbeams and focus. So I feel here you're being shown here that they are focused. You know, they're focused on the things that they are needing to do for themselves to release these blocks, to heal their past you know, to making decisions of the things that they need to decide on to be able to move forward. They are focused on this. So, you know, for you, they may come across as being cold, as, you know, they're not communicating, they are just living their life, but they are putting their focus on the things that they need to work on, you know, in their own life, the things that they need to release, the things that they need to heal so that they can be free of those things to then be the past that comes back into their life, into your life. So, you know, so they can have this life with you. So they are focused, you know, they've put all their focus on that and they're working on it and that's going to result in them coming back to you, you know, and that's going to result in that positive eventual outcome. So really beautiful. Everything that they're doing is leading them to coming back to you, their divine feminine. So really powerful cards coming through and energies for the divine masculines as we start this week. And then moving on to you, the divine feminine. So let's just turn this round. <laughs> so it's very interesting. So we've got the King of Swords and, you know, and I feel that this is showing you that, you know, this is sort of the energy your divine masculine is in. I hadn't seen these cards, but they are in that energy where they seem like they're cold. You know, the King of Swords can be cold. They are sort of focused on things that are going on in their life. You know, you can see this is about focus. This is about, you know, you can see it's sort of like icy at the back. So they can seem cold. You know, they're not communicating. They are just kind of like, you know, focused on whatever it is that they're doing in their life and sort of in their own little world, thinking about things a lot, being in their mind, you know, and that's showing you this is the energy of what they're doing because they're dealing with releasing blocks, the past, and their focus is on those things right now, making decisions about their life, about the future with you. So that's why they're coming across, you know, to in your, to you as being called, but that's because they are things that they're working through in their own life right now. So powerful cards to come through there. The next card that came out for you is the Nine of Pentacles. And this is the beautiful card. This is the card of self-love. You know, so I feel what you're being shown here is that whilst your divine masculine is in this place of focusing on themselves and the things that they're working on, you focus on yourself as a divine feminine, you know, focus on rising in your life, focusing on self-love, on doing the things that you enjoy, being in your joy. You know, the card about dance came out in the short that I did this morning, you know, be in the place of embracing your life and loving your life. And enjoying your life, doing things for you, focusing on you. That's the big message that's coming through here. So focus on self-love and on you. And also know that you are going to have all the things that you desire. The world coming in for you. You know, it is all coming in. It's like, you know, as you focus on yourself and loving yourself and your life, you know, that is going to help to bring in the things that you are dreaming of. And you are going to have the world. You are going to have the life that you're dreaming of, the love that you dream of. It is all coming in for you. It's like you're going through a time where there will be a completion to bring in like the next chapter of your life. You know, so you're being shown, shown here that you are going to have all the things that you desire, all your wishes coming true. So nine of cups, you're being shown here that everything is going to come in for you. You know, the time is going to come where your divine masculine moves forward to you. You have that love relationship. You have the world. You have all the things that you desire and you'll be jumping with joy and happiness, you know, you know, like even more happiness because you've already sort of been working on yourself and finding your own happiness. So when all those cups start coming in, you have, you know, it sort of enhances the happiness that you already have. So, you know, you're being shown here that your wishes are coming true. Yesterday, we had the message about dreams coming true. You know, your dream showing up in the real world soon. Do check out yesterday's reading if you haven't seen it. So this is about it. This is about your wishes coming true and it is going to come in for you. You know, it's coming in at the perfect time. Right now, your divine masculine may be quiet, focused on the things that they're doing, but that is actually there to then help to bring in the dreams that you are dreaming of. So that's the message that's coming through. And then the cards that have come out for you as well, the divine feminine. So we've got here meant to be. 
So really powerful. And it says moon cold. So I feel that you're being shown here that this love with your divine masculine is meant to be you know is i feel here it's like the trinity sort of you your you your divine masculine and the creator you know you've got that connection with your divine masculine there that is being shown that even though you're kind of you know not together in the physical but you're always connected and you know sort of the creator is there with both of you you know, ensuring that you come together in the perfect divine timing. So, you know, and you'll be, you're both being called on this journey to step into your power, to do the things that you are here to do, to move forward towards this life together with, you know, that is meant to be, but also to work on yourselves, to heal yourselves, to release the things that have been holding you back, to move forward towards your mission. So, you know, you've both been called and right now, that's what you're doing. You're divine masculine, focusing on themselves, working on things, releasing the blocks, healing their past. You working on self-love, focusing on yourself. You know, that is what is, you know, what you've been called to do because you have to heal yourselves to then be able to move forward to doing your mission together to, you know, to um, doing, uh, to coming together as well, you know, in the physical. So you're being called and it's meant to be, and right now you are both exactly where you're meant to be so that you can then be able to move forward. So that's what, that's what I feel this message is, you know, and that's a call because this love is truly meant to be as well. The other cards that came out is forgiveness and it's the full moon. And, you know, full moons are all about forgiving and releasing. So if you're a divine feminine and you may still be holding on to pain of things that have happened with your divine masculine, you're being asked to work through forgiving, forgive and release to be able to move forward. It's part of the things that you're being called to do right now to release all those things, the pain that you've been holding on to. The last card that has come out for you, the divine feminine, is follow the moon, watch for signs. So you're being shown signs on your journey, signs to help you, signs to show you that your divine masculine is going through a transformation right now with the butterflies, you know, as they release the blocks, as they're healing their past, you know, as they have been, they've been called as well to step up on their own path, you know, watch for the signs to help you on your journey. You know, that's the angels and the creator showing you that all is well. And, you know, so watch for the signs, you know, you're being given signs in all sorts of different ways to help you on your journey. So those are the messages coming through for you, the divine feminine, you know, be in the present moment, watch for the signs, forgive, you know, uh, release the things of that have happened in the past. Know this love is meant to be and your divine masculine is doing what they need to do to move forward towards this life with you. You are going to have the life that you desire, the world coming in. So focus on yourself, on self-love and on trusting that is all coming in for you. And then the messages that have come out for the journey, really powerful, divine masculine awakening. And that's the energy that's really coming through. They are awakening, they're working on themselves and, you know, they are healing their past so that they can be able to move forward towards this life with you. You know, sort of looking back at their childhood, the things that have held them back and really starting to see these things in ways that they had not seen these things before so they are awakening that's the message that you are receiving here and your journey is protected so you are safe your journey is protected there is nothing for you to fear trust that everything is coming in for you at the right time you know it's that sort of being brought back to this card where sort of like you know the creator you've been called that's the trinity and your journey is protected you know, your journey is safe. So let go of any fear about your journey and trust that everything is as it is meant to be and that your journey and know that your journey is protected because you have a mission together. You and your twin, you have a mission together and you have been called to step up so that you can do this mission. So, you know, you're both sort of going through a time of preparation right now during this time of separation separation is preparation for you to move forward into doing your mission together 
So powerful message coming through. The last card that has come out for the journey is raise your vibration, you are manifesting. So divine feminine, you are manifesting this love. And the message is for you to raise your vibration. You know, you can only bring in the things that you are desiring, you know, from a place of higher vibration. So raise your vibration, be in your joy. You know, that's the message that was coming through in the short again that I that I did this morning. You know, be in the place of feeling good in yourself, embrace Embracing life, loving life, raising your vibration and know that things are moving forward because your journey is protected and your, your divine masculine is awakening and, you know, and moving forward towards this life with you and towards this mission that you are here to do together. So really powerful messages coming through as well for the journey. And then to finish off messages from your divine masculine. So they're saying to you, I am learning to love myself so I can be able to properly show you love. So that's what they are doing right now. Learning to love themselves, you know, healing things of the past and, you know, and learning to love themselves. And that way they can then be able to properly show you love because, you know, you have to be in a place of loving yourself first to be able to show that love to another. So that's what they are doing right now. And they are also saying to you, whilst we are apart, I am realizing just how much you mean to me. So, you know, during this time of you being apart, it is helping them to realize just how much you mean to them. You know, thinking of you and the things, the beautiful times that you shared before and, you know, and the loyalty that they have towards you, wanting to have that love relationship with you. So during this time, it's actually helping them to realize just how much you mean to them. And then they are also saying to you, everything about you excites me. So, you know, they think about you and everything about you excites them. They want to be with you, their divine feminine. And they're also saying to you, I wish we could just, just go away together right now. So they also wish that, you know, you, the two of you could just go away and, you know, life could, you could just have this life together right now, but there are things that they need to work through. You know, this journey is a journey from the divine, from the creator, and they have to work through certain things first. You have to work through certain things. You have to both have to clear karma. You both have to, you know, sort of work through things that you need to work through whilst you are still apart in the physical you know, and release what needs to go. So, you know, they are still where they are because this is where they're meant to be right now. And they are missing you and saying, I wish we could just go away together right now. And to finish off, they are saying to you, we will have a life together in this lifetime. So really powerful. They are saying to you, it is going to happen. We will have this life together in this lifetime. That's about them, the past coming back and having this love relationship with you, that positive eventual outcome happening. So they're saying to you, I am doing what I need to do, working on myself right now, and there will be a positive eventual outcome. I will come back to you at the right time, you know, but I'm missing you. However, it's going to happen because we are meant to be. And we will have a life together in this lifetime because they are awakening and doing what they need to do. And they are working towards this life with you. I hope you have a great day, guys. Sending you so much.